We are at this program for a very special bulletin. Bob the Emperor of Darkness. Today's top story. Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My apologies. Greetings, pathetic humanoids from the deep. I am your evil ruler and master, the Emperor of Darkness, bringing another YouTube update. Wow. Someone's in a bad papaya. Yes, on Friday. How does this happen? What do we think? Roman Re John Cena was about to challenge Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. But wait, this gets even weirder. Roman Reigns denied it? What kind of fool he is? Is he trying to be like everybody else? I don't think so. Anyway, how dare you, Roman Reigns? When I get my hands on your evil gay boyfriend, Paul Heyman, there will be consequences. And you know why there will be consequences. Because these are your foul villains. That's right. We should call them the free dum-dums. Cheater, cheater, and stupid. Much like the free stooges. That's right. They're cheaters. They don't deserve those titles. They should, what's the word, strip the titles by our GM. Hopefully, there will be consequences. And by the way, what the hell is up with those stupid Usos? They cheat in their victory. The Mysterios will have their revenge. You think you're going to let those three get away with that evil overlord slob? Not a chance. You're not going to get away with this, Roman Reigns. You and Tweedledee and Tweedledum and your gay boyfriend, Paul Heyman, are not going to get away with this. This is not the end, my friend. You will suffer the consequences. That's right. I smell foul. And by the way, I'll give you a guess who will beat you at SummerSlam. This handsome gentleman, Finn Bauer. Ladies and gentlemen, and by the way, Finn Bauer, once again, happy birthday, and hope you have a great, I hope you have a great day, and, oh, you know the rest. Finn Bauer, you may know him as the demon, came to WWE, he's like a monstrous, victorious superhero. Well, Roman, your days of title shot is going to be end, my friend. Your nightmare is about to begin. If I see the Usos cheat on their victory in the next episode of SmackDown, there will be consequences. That's right. Mr. Fat Slob Payman is still up to his dirty tricks. Oh, and... <laughs> By the way, folks... <laughs> in case you missed SmackDown... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't breathe! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm <laughs> mm. 
All right. I'm sorry, folks. You're just... <laughs> Mm. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we don't like to apologize. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, in case you been smacked. <laughs> in case you been smacked. <laughs> Uh-oh. In case you been smacked on Friday. Chief Dum Dum Baron Corbin, even though he's still poor. Let's see what Kevin Owens gave that money to Baron. Baron was about to leave, and then, uh oh, my most personal favorite. Oh yes, when Shotzi and Tegan using some kind of cannon watch. Uh oh, that's so wait. What some kind of looks like a. Beat some kind of cast ball hit. Oh, Ben Corbin in the groin. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's similar, just like in the episode of The Simpsons. I'm sorry. It's just, in that episode where when well, it was at it was at that film festival in Springfield when. Jay Sherman from the from the clinic was showing his next clip, his next short movie, Man Hit by a football and a groin. <laughs> it was that. It was funny. I mean, Hans was going out there, and then oh my god, he got hit by a football, <laughs> and I saw Homer was laughing, <laughs> and Homer was laughing, and. Oh my god, that was amazing. I should watch that video on YouTube. But maybe not today. But in the next episode, we will show you that clip. Oh my god. That was funny. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, in case you missed SmackDown... Well, even though it was live both in Cleveland, and that was this festival you missed. Bianca Belair, single handedly struck another victory against that swarming evil Guido witch, Carmella. Well, anyway, speak of Finn Bauer, he struck the victory against that evil conspiracy Sasquatch, Sami Zayn. And, ladies and gentlemen, in case you may know, in August, that's right, on August 21st, that's right, SummerSlam will be live in Viva, Viva Las Vegas! It'll be a great event. Last year was a nightmare, this year it'll be a no nightmare. Because we are going to have fun in Vegas. Everyone who's still coming is vaccinated. If not, well, you'll get a second chance. But if anyone needs to get to that arena in Vegas, I know because that stupid boring boxing match, ugh, boring, they will still see your favorite wrestlers in a, in a match. But however, not only that, if and Bella wins... He will get that title. If not, the nightmare will end. Speaking of matches, after what happened at Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins is a nightmare. Anyway, at at SummerSlam, Edge will have his revenge. He will take on that evil architect who cost him that title. None other than that scum, Seth Rollins. That's right, Seth. You're gonna pay for what you did. I smell. I smell foul. Foul in the air. Edge, I hope you win against Seth Rollins. Your kid, your beloved wife, are gonna be so proud. 
I hope they'll watch you. I hope, I hope you win, Edge. And your buddy, Christian, will also be cheering for you also. And, of course, Rey Mysterio and everybody in Toronto. Well, anyway, speaking of um, SummerSlam, after a nightmare we've been seeing, Lashley is out of control. Well, anyway, guess who's going to beat him? That's right. Or another WWE Hall of Famer. The man they called Goldberg. That's right. Goldberg will take on Lashley for the WWE Championship. Goldberg won once. He defeated the Fiend, but lost to Braun Strowman. But that's okay. Goldberg will still get a chance. Well, luckily, he did get a chance. He always wins matches. He already defeated Brock Lesnar once. Also, he he also won that match at WCW's Hog Wild. I mean, Road Wild. We defeated that dog-faced gremlin, Rick Steiner. And once again, Goldberg, congratulations, of course. Also, Goldberg won that battle royale. Anyway. We can't wait for Saturday. Well, it's supposed to be on Sunday, but... Sunday, of course, is NXT TakeOver, but we'll find out what's going on. Well, anyway, folks... SummerSlam is definitely going to be amazing. But, anyway, folks, I was about to tell you, next month, I'm still going to record the next video, but it's going to be the last, because I'm not going to be here. I know, I know, I know, I know. But hey, cheer up. I'll be back. Hopefully. Of course... Hopefully. Anyway, in the next video, I will tell you where I'm going to go. Not tomorrow, but in the next day, which will be in August. Which will be happening on August 14th. No, I'm not going to go to the RWA wrestling, but I'd rather just wait till September. Anyway, folks, hope you get vaccinated, but just be careful. That evil disease, the Delta variant, is going to pay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a great summer. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, even though summer's going to be over, even though everybody is going back to school, hopefully soon, who is, of course, vaccinated or non-vaccinated. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen... I hope you guys have a great day, and you're really going to have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I'm the Emperor of Darkness, so you remembered, so you don't have to. Hope, have a great summer, everybody. <laughs> I can't get the quiet. <sighs> Again. This is Chris's YouTube update. Signing off.